Mention it all. Mention it all. Goodbye, Kyle. Who's calling who a frog? Love you, baby. Bye. Hello, Burberry Troop. Welcome back. I'm the real Andy of Burberry Hills, and welcome to another piece of tea of the day. And we need to talk now about the real housewife of Burberry Hills, okay? But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Do it right now. If you are new here and you want to join the Burberry Troop, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, guys. We are on our way to 30K, so if you want to join the family, you know what to do. Let's talk about this um, mess. Okay, so um, the whole Fox 5 Force, actually not the whole because Dory was not there, but a good part of the Fox 5 Force was on Teddy Mellencamp's podcast and Tamara Judge, two T's in a pop. All right, so... This is one of those things that I'm telling you. How, how of course... Your podcast is going to be successful when you have access to doing something like this. I mean, she literally have Tamara Judge and Teddy Mellencamp as the host. And then you have Kyle Richards, Lisa Rena, and Erica Jane uh, as your guest. But you know what? I'm not complaining because anything that is tea related, I actually love it. Because we love to know what is going on behind the scenes. So we can pass it to you guys and then we can pass judgment and we can have an opinion. And we can say uh, what, what is going on, you know. Um, they talk about so many things, you know. And um, for example, Kyle Richards, I mean, of course, they talk about the the comment that Garcelle did on Watch What Happens Live, and uh, it's just like they, they stuck on this, on the little things, and that you can feel that they're using it just to create drama, okay? Like, literally, Teddy was saying, like, oh, my God, she said that she was close to Kathy, and, like, she, the way she said it, and it was just so fast and it was like this and I, and I was like oh girl was just a stupid comment you know which it's probably true I keep saying it because we all know that Kathy Hilton is not happy with Kyle Richards anyways we already talked about that so that happened you know Kyle was like oh I was like uh doing dinner or something like that and then someone sent me the clip and I just started crying like crazy because I could not believe that she said something like that. Well, then be a better sister, okay? So you are not going through these situations. Girl, I can't. Anyways, that was like the list of the problems. Then we have Erica Jane. So Erica Jane basically is saying that uh, people assume that because the Fox Five Fours are very close and very good friends, that they just automatically have each other's backs no matter what. But that that was actually very far from the truth because every single one of them will let each other have in it if they were doing something wrong. Okay. Did any of them actually call out Erica Jane for, I don't know, allegedly stealing money from widows and victims and kids and born victims and cancer patients and both accident people and like all of that? Because I didn't see any of that happening last season. You know, like I didn't like I didn't quite see saw any of that. So um, I don't know. So according to Erica Jane. She says that Lisa Rena let her have it this year. That at some point their friendship was like on shambles. That they, uh, that Lisa Rena basically said like, if you don't change, like this is it, or or relationship it's over, or friendship is over, uh, a bunch of things. And I'm thinking that they are talking about the Aspen trip, which is also something that she said. Uh, Erica said that the one thing that she regret is the breakdown basically that she had on Aspen and how that really played out with everyone and her reaction to the whole thing 
So we already know that that is going to be a big part, okay? Um, I don't know. I don't think... Uh, you cannot tell me that 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 they behave this way. I think... Look, I do think that they are friends, of course, you know? like, But I think they are friends for convenience. You know what I mean? Uh, like just because they need something from each other, you know, and now, and they know that they are more powerful together than if they are on their own. If you really think about it, if Lisa Rena, if it was Lisa Rena against the world or Erica Jane against the world or Kyle Richards against the world, I don't think any of them will have an actual chance, you know? Uh, but because it is a combination of all of them, I think it makes them more powerful, especially when it comes to the uh, network. You know, Kyle Richards wait a lot on Bravo. She's an OG. She has been there from the beginning. She has a really relationship with Andy Cohen. So, you know, Kyle Richards is going to be a long time before she st we stop seeing her on Real Housewife unless she actually wants to quit, you know. Uh, and then we have Lisa Rena, who, you know, she will... She's probably have dirt on every single one of them. And she knows how to manipulate people. And she knows how to create drama, you know. So, that's also very important. And, well, Erica Jane, I don't even know. Like, Erica and Dorit, I don't really understand what they're doing on this show anymore. I mean, I understand Erica Jane because, you know, she's in the middle of the whole legal thing. And, and that's, like, ratings gold right there. So, that's the only thing going on for herself. And Dorit, like, I... I literally don't understand why Dorit's still on the show like it really doesn't even make any sense at this point but anyways she's there um so I feel that they protect each other you know and these little like fights that they have that's just for show that's just for the cameras that's just for the drama of the moment. That's not real drama that is going to, like, destroy French, their, their friendship or anything. That's just stupid shit that happened over there all the time. Um, I don't know. I feel that they enable each other. That's probably the word that I was looking for. They enable each other, you know. And then they have these little fights. They apologize. And then they just continue on the same toxic behavior over and over and over again. But then comes someone like Sutton or Garcelle and they really try to call them out and it's like the worst thing that could happen in the world. Bitch, please. So anyways, um, it's just like, see what, what she, uh, she says that she thought Rina was going to give her an ultimatum in their friendship. Mm -hmm. And she hit rod bumps with Kyle too. Girl, please. Anyways, so let me know what you guys think in the comments below about this one. Do you think that, I don't know, you think that the fights for it's going to have, it's going to continue having so much power on Burberry Hills or um, what is going to happen? Do you think that Erica is right or not? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. And like always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I'll see you around. See ya. Bye.